So today's artist of the week, this week's artist of the week is Florence Rodway. <laughs> um, so Florence Rodway is a female artist from Tasmania and I'm really excited to be covering her because she is not super well known as what the series is supposed to be. So anyway, let's get into it. Florence Rod Rodway was born in Hobart in 1881 and studied at the Hobart Technical School. She studied painting and drawing, I believe, in her technical education art class. And after this, she won a four-year scholarship to study at the Royal Academy of Arts in London. Though about a couple of years in, she returned to Sydney as she could not afford the living expenses of being there since the scholarship only covered the tuition. So from 1906, she was studying at the Julian Ashton Art School and produced illustrations for magazines. The Julian Ashton Art School is still running today and is actually one of the art schools that I go to as well. Yay! Shout out to Julian Ashton Art School. So in 1910, the Art Gallery of New South Wales purchased work from her. She was a finalist in the Archibald Prize in 1921 as well. And so we'll be taking a look at that picture too. She did a lot of pastels. She's very well known for her pastel portraits and just portraiture in general looks like she did a lot of. So we'll be going and having a look at that. <laughs> so we're going to start off the commentary of artworks by looking at this black pencil on paper drawing that Florence Rodway did. I believe probably while she was in London studying. It was created in 1898, so it sort of roughly would fit that time period of when she was still studying as a student. And I just thought it's it's really fun to look at sort of the more kind of academic stuff that a, an artist does while they're still studying. I'm not sure if this is entirely while she was still studying, could also be when she was she just finished, but it was definitely before Julian Ashton, so I think it's really cool. So obviously we had to have a look at a pastel portrait by Rodway since that's what she was best known for. This one was done in 1924. What I really like about this portrait is sort of the subtlety of all of the colours in there, like in the face and in the clothing as well and just how many colors are sort of bouncing around in the shadow there and also in the light areas but it's all still a super light it's got a super light touch to it which i think is so beautiful this is another very well-known pastel picture that rodway created around 1920 it's called the interview and just look at that just Wow, it's absolutely incredible. I thought it was an oil painting when I first saw it, and I know a few other people in my life has have said that to me as well. Just, it's incredible. I The thing that I love the most about this, one I think is that huge black shadow that just casts down and really like cuts, cuts this picture in half. I think it's really awesome. Uh, you can also read about the story behind this picture and the analysis of it on the Art Gallery of New South Wales website, which I'll link as well. And this is the only oil painting picture that we're going to be looking at. So it was a finalist in the Archibald Prize in 1921. It's really cool that she had such skill in doing portraits both in pastels and in oils as well. I think that's really awesome. That's all. That's all on Florence Rodway for this week. Please join in next week as well and we'll look at another unknown or lesser known artist. I'm really excited to continue with this series and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying making it. And so, yes, I look forward to seeing you next week. <laughs>